able to write a good paragraph is pretty essential in being a successful student. It shows that you know how to explain your points and it's the foundation for the essays, the future essays that you'll need to write. So we wanna take a look at how to construct a, an effective, successful paragraph here. So to start with, what makes a paragraph? They start with a topic sentence. This is a subjective claim, which means it's your feelings, it's your opinion, um, that you believe to be true and you're gonna be defending. The body is at least three sentences that follow this that explain and defend the topic sentence with facts and why those details matter. Your paragraph should end with a conclusion sentence that rephrases your thesis and brings attention to how your evidence proved your claim to be true. It should also be made up of complete sentences. Each statement is clear and makes only one meaningful point per period. There really is no right or wrong side to have in an argument or a claim. It really is all about your ability to defend your claim successfully. That's all your instructor's looking at. So look at your writing prompt and brainstorm your defending facts for each side. Then you should pick the strongest one to write about. Don't worry if you don't completely agree with it. It's about making the most convincing argument. So to pick a side, you take your writing prompt. In this case, it's gonna be, which do you think is more important to your town, a hospital or cell phone service? I'm gonna look at, well, why do I believe a hospital would be important? It's close, it would stabilize people until sent to larger facilities, and it provides employment. Cell phones connect people to family, friends, and information used by almost everyone and needed for calling 911. Between those two arguments, I believe that the cell phone has the most meaningful evidence to support it. So that's going to be the side I'm going to support. Now I need to write a topic sentence. Again, it's making a one sentence statement that's arguably true. That means this is your belief that might not be shared by everyone. It is not a fact that's reserved for the body. Do not use I believe or I think in this statement because your name is on the paper. Obviously, it is your thoughts or beliefs. You don't need to state it is. Just start. So you can use part of the prompt in your sentence to make sure you're creating a response that directly answers the question. The topic sentence I wrote is, the ability to have cell phone services in my town is more essential than having a hospital. So this is effective because I have made my claim that I think cell phones are more important than hospitals um, in my town. These are all key details that were in my writing prompt that I'm including in my topic sentence to make sure I'm effectively answering it rather than saying, I think cell phones are really important. Okay, compared to what? Well, the writing prompt asks compared to hospitals. So that's why I wanted to include that detail in my topic sentence. Then the body defends why my claim is true with at least three factual statements answering how it's true and why those details matter. I wrote, cell phones are owned by almost all adults and many kids. With this technology, you are connected no matter where you are in the world. The majority of people use theirs every day, while a hospital is only utilized by a small portion of a community. Also, if you cannot easily access 911, a hospital does not do you much good. By relying on landlines, people in the woods, on the road, or even in their own homes would struggle to access this service. Then the conclusion rephrases the thesis. It indicates the same idea, just uses different wording. These de um, and this ties all the details back to your original claim and it brings a sense of closure. Do not write in conclusion. Anybody who has a foundational understanding of writing knows that either the last paragraph in the essay or the last sentence in a paragraph are the concluding, so just write it. Hospitals may be an important institution to have access to, but our community is more effectively served by access to cell phone services. So I made the same statement as my topic sentence. I just reworded it, chose some different terminology. Now that I have that, I need to put it all together. So I have my topic sentence followed by my body ending with my conclusion. I've also indented the first paragraph using the tab key on my keyboard. So editing is essential. It's, it's what makes a good writer. It's not about getting it perfect the first time. It's about going back and finding out how to make it better. Make sure you have a program like Grammarly installed on your computer. 
take a break after writing, then come back and reread it. This is going to let you see it, hear it with a new insight. Um, and it's going to let you understand when something doesn't sound quite right. Uh, when not sure, Google it to find the rules or examples. This is, you have this at your, your fingertips. Use it to help make sure you're doing it right. And then also use a thesaurus to help you come up with varied word choices so you don't sound repetitive and use the same word every time. Finally, double check with an editing checklist. The beginning of the paragraph is indented half an inch using the tab key. Capitalized letter at the beginning of sentences. There is no reason your sentences should not be capitalized. No reason. Um, only use one main idea per period unless a comma plus a conjunction or semicolon is used properly to separate clauses. If you don't know what this is, Google it to get a better understanding of what this means. Um, there's only, oh, so a clear topic sentence is present that makes a claim. The sentences in the body defend the topic sentence in a convincing way. The topic sentence is rephrased in the final sentence of the paragraph and very important, the paragraph is easy to read and each sentence logically moves from one statement to the next. If you put all of these features together, you're going to have an awesome paragraph. So use this checklist and successfully apply it to creating your own paragraphs. Good luck.